I was like, am I smart enough for this? <laughs> Can I really do this? I didn't really know I wanted to be in the Air Force until I started college. I started going to school for nursing. I wasn't quite sure that that was the route that I wanted to take. I knew that I wanted to get into medicine, but it didn't feel like that was quite the right path for me at the time. I was told by one of my preceptors that because I was female and because I was um, young, that only way I'd ever meant anything is because I was a female. And from that moment forward, I was like, watch this, <laughs> watch me. A lot of people don't know what AE is or what we do, because we're more than just medics. Our primary job is to get on the aircraft, you load the aircraft, you, you design it as this, um, this flying hospital kind of scene, almost like um, an ICU with wings. Every patient has unique considerations as to how you're going to uh, essentially configure the plane. Air medical evacuation in history was built to take patients from, from the point of contact where the injury happened out on the war scene to um, the next closest hospital. You go, you pick up this patient, and you're basically taking them to the next higher echelon of care. From there, they, they get that care, and either they go back to the deployed location or they go home. You have to be prepared for the most dire situation, and we train to that standard. We train above and beyond, hopefully, anything that we'll ever experience. I think being mentally Mentally prepared for that to happen at any moment, physically prepared for that to happen is a whole a whole thing. It's so fulfilling when you get off that plane and you're like, dang, like I just did that. I mean, it's just it's a crazy, cool career to be in.